Mother Nature's wild weekend leading to a Monday mess. Thousands hit the streets and sidewalks today to clean up damage left behind by massive storms. And thousands remain without power today as the heavy rain and wind and a possible tornado slam northeast Ohio. Trees toppled, branches tossed like toothpicks. Homeowners are out today picking up the pieces. The damage was widespread from Lorain County to Westlake to Parma and as far east as Conneaut where a tornado touched down. We have live team coverage. Power 5 Chief Meteorologist Mark Johnson is tracking the latest conditions and our news crews are spread throughout northeast Ohio surveying the damage. We begin in Conneaut where Rich McBride sent us this picture of a funnel cloud. The storm even grabbed this camper and lifted it into some trees. Power 5 meteorologist, there it is, Jason Nicholas sent us this photo. And Jason is live on 5 in Conneaut with the very latest. Jason? Danita, we've had several reports of damage around the region from yesterday's storms that blew through last night. But none more widespread, more impressive than what you see here. Scenes like this, this is a tree uprooted, about 20 or 30 of these through Conneaut, just moments away from the Pennsylvania border. Scenes like this, an all too common theme today. Normally summer nights on Lake Road in Conneaut are quiet, peaceful and pleasant, but not Sunday night. For Jeff Galifo, he says it sounded like a train on top of his house. Swirl, debris, uh, but I didn't, I felt the pressure pulling me out the window and I didn't want to stay there. I wanted to get into the basement because I knew it was something uh, tremendous coming. That's when a probable tornado twisted through the town, uprooting century-old trees and tearing huge limbs from others. Rich Picard lives on Lake Breeze Road. Last night you had a little more than a lake breeze. Yeah, we had a little bit more than a lake breeze. I don't know if it was a tornado or what it was or what they want to call it. But the good thing was nobody got hurt. All around Conneaut, trees just like this one uprooted, probably 20 or 30, but none quite like this. This tree actually lifted up this trailer about 10 feet in the air. Amazingly, three people were inside, and thankfully, none of them injured. I got the two kids, we ran in the trailer, and boom, that quick it happened. It just lifted up, and I was waiting for it to start twisting. Beth Berry and her 7- and 10-year-old children were inside that trailer, and no, they were lucky to make it out alive. The man upstairs, thank God, that's all we can do is thank God and the neighbors around here that helped us out. All right, now I spoke with meteorologists from the National Weather Service in Cleveland, and they say based on the damage they've seen here in Conneaut today, winds of about 90 miles per hour, and the way the trees were blended together, twisted together up top, high on the trees, that indicates a weak EF1 tornado. Remember, our enhanced Fujita scale goes from 0 to 5. The one we had in Millbury a few weeks ago was a 4. But this one here, a weak EF, preliminarily a weak EF1 tornado. More